Okay, so we're still in exercise 69. This is problem number 22. You know, A and B travel from P to Q and back. This reminds me of question number 21, by the way. Uh, a starts one hour after B, overtakes him at a point, two mile, blah, blah, blah. It's tough. It's, I know this is tough for reading through. I do know from experience I've been teaching for in my fourth decade of teaching that a lot of students, when they're reading these problems, they get horribly lost. And I got I to gotta be honest with you, the problems that we're, we're given nowadays in algebra are much simpler than these. I mean, much simpler. And students are, you know, horribly confused by what they're reading. And, I, you know, sometimes I'm confused by what I read, too. Now, I'm not going to go to the whiteboard in this one. And the number one reason I'm not going to go to the whiteboard is um, I, I write up a more detailed solution over here. However, I found this to be the most difficult problem in this problem set. Not in all of Wells's problems, but this is the most difficult problem in this problem set, and it's the last problem. So what I would highly recommend you do is read through what I've written down for you. And I think I'm pretty detailed, more detailed than the other questions, but this one here, I, again, I found it to be much, much more difficult. Did I get an answer in the end? Certainly you get an answer in the end. Are you going to get the same answer I got? I hope you get the same answer. I can see this goes on for some time, by the way. And, you know, again, the hope is this, that you, you spend some time and effort looking at what we prepared for you, all right? We're looking at what we prepared for you. Now, granted, it's not me at the whiteboard. What is it me? It's me telling you to start to read that. Well, if you got to problem number 22, you're watching me at the whiteboard for 21 questions or whatever, or up to 21 questions, I think, for the most part, you should start to realize that you, too, can read through my blue stuff that would mean with blue stuff, what, what my, my truncated solution looks like. And I try to do the best possible job of writing it up. I'm not going to say it's every single detail that you need. And it can, it can never be that because we don't know how much detail you need in a problem. But here's the deal. You need to make sense out of what you're looking at. Now, whether you're looking at the what's in the original problem, which is quite short. I mean, if you look at this problem over here, it's a really short problem, by the way or you're looking at my detailed solution to make sense out of what you read, it doesn't matter. What does it lead to? A conclusion. And I hope we can all agree upon what the conclusion is at the end of this. Again, I want to repeat this. I found this to be the most difficult problem in this particular problem set, but I'm not going to go to the whiteboard to do it. Again, thank you so much for paying attention. I do appreciate it.